Today on Beyond the Pot, we have a soup du jour. We are making butternut squash and apple soup. It is a cozy, comfy fall winter soup and bonus. We are going in the Instant Pot. So for this soup, we're gonna, of course, have butternut squash. This is a small, medium-ish, it's probably a pound or and a half of butternut squash. I'm gonna show you how to cut this up. That's why I didn't cut it for you yet. We have apples. I had, a, I think, a Golden Delicious and a regular Macintosh apple, whatever kind of. Granny Smith would be really good because it's a little sweet, a little sour. I got some bay leaves, some fresh sage, you can use dry sage. I have fresh thyme, but you can use dry thyme. I have some celery, some onion, and some carrots, which is known as mirepoix in French. Um, this is um, minced garlic. Joshua's dropping things, y'all. Um, I have some chicken broth, and my spices are onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and we're gonna finish it off with some heavy cream. So it's a cut of butternut squash. Get you a peeler. If you don't have a peeler, get you one. <laughs> but you can use a paring knife or a short bladed knife. I wouldn't do it because it's too much. So peel the whole thing. You're just gonna peel it. Just peel the whole thing. Make sure you get the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna peel this and then show you what it looks like. So I'm all peeled. As you can see, I'm gonna cut off the top and the bottom. Trash. Actually, look at that. I found a little bit of something, something on there. Look, I'm gonna save that piece. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna cut it in half. Or you could cut it in circles. I'll show you both. So this is cutting it in half. Because we're gonna need dices. And I'm gonna scoop it out. You see that? I'm gonna scoop all that goodness out. You can actually save those seeds and roast them or replant them and get you some new butternut squash. So take all those goodness out. You could probably toast them up with some good spices on them and top your soup with it. Hmm, <laughs> sounds so good. So that's one piece. And then let me show you how to cut it in circles. Circle, circle, see? So we're gonna cut this up into chunks to kind of match the size of the rest of our things. So now we're gonna go into our Instant Pot. We're gonna saute first. We have actually two functions we're gonna use on the Instant Pot. We're gonna use the saute function and then we'll use the pressure cook function. And so we're gonna saute first. We're gonna saute our... Did I do that right, Josh? Look at that. I got it right. <laughs> I try to memorize the buttons from behind the pot. So we're gonna go in with our celery, our onion, and our carrots. We're gonna saute that up and then bring that down, season it up, and then add all the rest of our things, okay? So we have our olive oil heating up in this pot. And we are going in with our carrots and our onion and celery. We'll go in with some salt. And some pepper. let that cook down some before we add our garlic. So that is sweating down. We're gonna add our garlic. Probably a good teaspoon. Now we're gonna go in with everything else. Since that's sauteed down, we're gonna go in our apples. Our squash.
sprigs of thyme. Some fresh sage, about two or three leaves if you got it. You can do dry if you got it. My bay leaves, two of those. And we're gonna season it. We're gonna do onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit more salt. Pepper. And we're gonna go on with our broth. Now we're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna pressure cook. So we are still on the saute and we're gonna go to our next function since everything is in our pot. We're gonna go to cancel the saute. We're gonna go to pressure cook. We're gonna go to 10 minutes and we're gonna start it. Actually, we're gonna put our lid on. Make sure your lid is tight and push start. That has gone off. Look at that, oh, those look good. I'm gonna take out my bay leaves. You can see it. Get your bay leaves. Gotta find the other one. Where'd it go? Oh, uh, there it is. And my sprig. I don't even see it. Might have disintegrated, y'all. I think it disintegrated. My sprig of thyme. I'm going to add about a half a cup of cream. If you want to use coconut milk for this, by all means, use coconut milk. That might be really good. It's probably really good. So I'm going to immersion blend this or mix it up. If you don't have an immersion blender like this, you can always use a blender of some sort. I'm going to add my cream. I'll blend this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So I went to do this, puree it down with my immersion blender, but it wasn't getting it as puree as I wanted it to. And so I just took my Vitamix, put all the soup in my Vitamix and pureed it down that way. And it came out so smooth and so beautiful. It tastes absolutely good. And so look at that, it's so pretty. You can see the herbs and spices in it, and it tastes so good. It's sweet. It got a sweetness to it, probably because of the apples. And so this is a good fall-winter soup if you want um, on a good weeknight or weekend. And so cozy up by the fire. And remember, I told you you could toast some of those butternut squash seeds put on top. And I did put heavy cream in it and I put about a third of a cup and not a half a cup. I didn't need all that heavy cream. And you could also use coconut milk. And so it probably won't make it as thick, which is good. The coconut milk will make it a little bit more smoother. So I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time on Beyond the Pot.